hello and welcome to my channel today i'm coming to you with two shades of the clinique lip color plus primer pop lipsticks i have two shades with me the first shade is 02 bear pop and the second shade is shade number 14 plum pop this is Bear Pop. This is the mini sized version of the lipstick and it contains 2.3 grams of product. This is Plum Pop. This is the full size version and it contains 3.6 grams of product. These are the shades side by side in the bullet. On the left you have Bear Pop. And on the right is Plum Pop. Clinique says this has a built-in primer, a smoothing primer to smooth out and plump any lip lines. It is not a plumping lipstick in any, in any way, but the formula is hydrating enough to give it a plump effect. We have a balmy feel on the lips that is not heavy or tacky. Clinique says that these lipsticks are allergy tested. They are free from fragrance, parabens and phthalates. The ingredient list looks very promising and have a lot of hydrating and emollient ingredients so i'll attach a screenshot of the ingredients somewhere on the screen i will also include lip swatches of the two colors bear pop and plum pop on my mac nc40 dusky skin tone so that you can see how they look on me they look like everyday pinky nudes on me they wear quite decently on me in spite of being such an emollient formula at least three to four hours before fading slightly as you can see these lipsticks have sheer to medium buildable opacity the lighter shade bear pop is more like a gloss glossy balm in a lipstick form plum pop is slightly more pigmented bear pop is a pinky nude color with very minute golden shimmer particles that are not chunky at all and they are not visible unless you're looking at it closely it comes across as more of a sheen than a shimmer on the right we have plum pop which is a mauvey pink plum pop has no shimmer whatsoever bear pop is much surer than plum pop I have applied three swipes of each lipstick to show how much they can be built up in opacity. I really like Bear Pop as a sheer wash of shimmery color across my eyelids as well. It can be used as a lip topper as well. This is what Bear Pop looks like. As you can see, there is very minute shimmer this is the color a pinky nude this is plum pop a mauvey pink um, slightly berry toned color both the shades are very comfortable on the lips they are easy to apply and glide well with no tugging or pulling 
these lipsticks do not bleed or feather on me but i still feel they would benefit from a lip liner to keep the color confined within the lip boundaries i like pairing bare pop with the mac lip liner in either sour or dervish plum pop i feel looks good with sour or half red since these lipsticks are highly emollient in nature they are not transfer proof or smudge proof they do transfer but if you prefer a non drying non matte formula that provides medium opacity these are really good these lipsticks moisturize and hydrate my lips really well like a lip balm the shade bear pop does not stain my lips and fades evenly the shade plum pop leaves a very mild pinky stain behind all in all if like me you want to take a break from the matte transfer proof and often drying formulas these are a good option so this was the video please like share and subscribe to my channel it would mean so much to me i will be attaching the ingredient list as well as the lip swatches just after this thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a nice day